All right, so we're out with the Rudis Versa, now with the small coil. This is the DD23, it's smaller footprint. This is the accessory coil. Um, we have the same blocks set up as yesterday. We're gonna factory reset the Versa and go through these as well. We'll go a little more in depth with this coil, try and get the most performance out of it we can. We'll try the FH as well as the FL. We'll try some reaction settings. We'll eliminate the iron filter. Uh, when it starts to struggle, we'll start to play with those settings. All right, so the first thing we'll do is we'll factory reset the Versa. I know there were some questions on the test block, test blocks that I use. I'll show those up close really quick. Some people wanted to, uh, to make some of their own and replicate them. So we will uh, show that. So this, that's kind of the setup that I have there. It's just hot glued nail down. And I also hot glued the targets down so that they, they never move. Some nails are bigger than others when I set the test up. I used uh, a couple different machines, the Equinox 800 at the time, the Deus 2, and I created the levels of difficulty by actually having to modify some settings on the level 4 and level 5 targets. These level 1, level 2 targets are made for the, the easier machines, but I also um, like to see what the VDI does even on the high-end machines. Alright, so this is factory reset. We're in 14 kilohertz and we're in field mode. So the first thing we got to do is we got to get out of that. So let's get out of uh, 14 kilohertz. Well, let's go to park mode first. Okay, so that's our castle and two trees. So we're in park mode. Get out of there. Now we'll get out of 14 kilohertz and we'll pick a quiet multi-channel. Well, they're all pretty quiet today. We'll go multi eight. And we'll lower our sensitivity a little bit. Nice and stable out here right now. All right, so let's uh let's look. We are at recovery five. We'll start with that into the sub menu. We're gonna leave everything stock at first. The only thing that I'm gonna change it to is two tone. So two-tone here, we're basically hearing iron, a non-ferrous tone. Uh, that's it, a ferrous and non-ferrous. If you hold this down, you'll be able to see where they go into place. So negative 29, and it'll go all the way over. Oh, we hit the right button. And this is where it'll go all the way to zero and stop bringing in the positive tone. So that's how that works all the way back to negative 29. Hold this button and it'll bring us back to our main screen. All right, so we're in two-tone audio. And uh, I'm trying to remember all the questions. Another question came up, is there rebar under the cement? No, there's, there's oh, let me put up my iron volume again. There's no rebar under the cement, it's just a slab. All right, so we got a nice high iron volume now. So here's under the, there's nothing under, nothing under here. Just a cement slab, good for testing. All right, so let's go to le the level one block. So same plane like we saw yesterday. Positive 43 on the nickel. On the dime, positive 55. Level two, now we're a half inch raise next to the dime. Now this is stock settings other than the reaction. I mean, other than two-tone. Now the nickel, we struggled with this yesterday. We're struggling with that one again. All right, so we'll get back to that one. Level three nickel, not hearing it. I'm up high, low, slow. All right, so we'll get back to that one, the dime. Up high, nothing. Now we're not gonna see iron numbers just like yesterday because the stock setting is um, zero. So let's go, let's start with that. So let's lower the discrimination 
to negative 10. All right. And you know what? People uh, actually said to lower it even more. So let's drop it all the way. All right. Negative 29. Nothing. Another recommendation was to bring the audio range of the tone bin lower to just above the nails. I don't like doing that because you can see nails are all over the place. See the IDs of nails? They, they are just everywhere. So depending on the size of the nail, you, you don't know what your ID is going to be. Rudis set this up with a negative 29 to zero iron range. So that's where it stays for, for this testing. All right, let's go in now and let's look at recovery speed and let's see if bumping up recovery speed to eight will help this nickel. See, you're seeing pot negative tens in there, twelves, threes. By moving that tone bin to try and help bring these in, you're just gonna be digging a lot more iron. It uh, makes it for a really tough relic hunt. And you can do that on all machines, but not many people do it because it just makes it really difficult of a hunt. All right, so let's stay with this one because even recovery of eight is not helping. So let's try lower. Sometimes too fast will impact it negatively. Here's four. Three. Two. See how low that iron, how long that iron tone got now. Seven. All right, so six. All right, let's leave it at six. Let's go into the sub menu now again. And let's try FH. That's our high conductor. Is that doing anything? It's not doing anything. Let's try wet. Recovery six. Let's see if we still bring in the dime. Yep. So none of those were helping. Let's go back over. Let's go back to FL. And let's go down to our iron filter and remove it. Removing the iron filter is getting, we're getting a little chirp in there. Um, let's see, let's go in now and let's mess with that coin boost mode and see if that helps. So coin boost may help in certain instances, but in the manual it says be careful with it. Uh, let's go to 15 and see what that does because that can uh, create some falsing for you if you go too high. Up high we're getting a one-way chirp. Now, oh, there's two-way chirp. Level two is level three. One way. Let's see if we're getting a falsing. No falsing. Okay, so that's at 15 at that coin boost. I don't know, let's see if uh, cranking that up what it does to see if it helps, which can create, you know, falsing, so be careful with that. But I mean, it's, it's doing minimal, if anything, you know, a little one-way hit every now and then.
up high on the dime. Any falsing. Yeah, see? We're getting we're getting some good hits now on a nail with that. With it up high. So that's that's gonna be too high. If we're getting falsing above ground on these nails, in ground with halos and stuff, it, it'll be so much worse. So we'll bring that back down. And now we, so we lowered the uh, iron filter. Let's go back to high and we'll try that really quick. And this is with the 15 of coin boost. Kind of same thing, one way hit. Nothing, and, and I'll show the targets like I did yesterday too. If we're not hitting them, you know, with those, we're not gonna hit it with this either. We'll go back to FL. Oh, getting a little bit, little bit there. On the high conductor, I've noticed it, it does better, even on FL, it does better on high conductors. You know, it's hitting, doesn't like this gold, it doesn't like this nickel. Even level two, it'll hit the dime, but it will not see the nickel. All right, so there's a look at the Versa with the small coil. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. I'll, let me do the same thing that I did yesterday and we'll turn this off and we will uh, throw the score through it really quick. So $389 machine. Now, this is the beginner multi-unit. You cannot change anything. It has no settings. It has volume, uh, backlight, Bluetooth, and uh, you know, a, a ground stabilizer. That's it. We're in multi two, we're eliminating ground. Here's that nickel. Look at the size coil. It's a monster over that. Here's the nickel on level three. The dime, the gold. All right, everyone, thanks for watching.